almost evening, so <laughs> uh, almost everybody is tired, so I will try to make the presentation as boring as possible to make the, the, the multiplication of two negatives to make it positive. So uh, this is uh, developed being a web-based multi-country occupational information system. That is my working title. And I'm from the University of Siegen. So I, I'll be telling you about myself and then about the project. So uh, I am from Ethiopia. And for, for those of you who don't know it, it's in the eastern one of Africa. <laughs> And Ethiopia, now this flag in Ethiopia is known for its athletics, uh, especially long distance running. Yeah, and this is the capital city of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. And its meaning is new flower. And I, I, I have been working in Haramaya University in the eastern part of Ethiopia before I joined the EduWorks. So this is about my original background. So in the, in about my qualification, I, am, I have a master's and bachelor in information science and information systems respectively, which is computer science in its application form. And I did my master's thesis in statistical machine translation in German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. And that deals with big data. So, this statistical machine translation is about generating translation from one language to another based on a large data set and also on big data related uh, experience. I have, I have a practical experience on data mining. And uh, my professional qualifications, I have a programming skill because it's in computer science and some some system administration, especially on Linux. I'm a hacker on that part. <laughs> and and uh, the, other, the, the other skills I have, a teaching experience of about eight years in that university, and, and other academic-related skills I have. So I've been working in Haramai University as a head of uh, ICT office. And there, I developed a lot of skills especially the, 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 the leadership skills and other technical skills as well on projects. I've been uh, working on, uh, I, I developed a software project, notably a balanced scorecard a performance management system, which is a multidisciplinary system, which is financed by the Ministry of Education of Ethiopia. And I also did uh, other technical projects, network expansion project, in the, in the ICT office. So, another thing, I, I, I have a cross-cultural experience. I've been working with Germans for a, for a while, and I've also worked with the Chinese for some months. And currently, I'm in the, in the Institute of Knowledge-Based Systems and Knowledge Management in the University of Siegen. So that is uh, the institute, which is headed by Professor Majid Fati, who is my supervisor now. And the, the institute currently runs a, a couple of projects. Some of them are financed by the European Commission, and one is financed by the German Ministry for Education and Research. And my project is EduWorks, obviously. <laughs> so this is it. So, when, when, when I uh, describe this project, the setup is like this. The, 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 the supervisor is Professor Majid Fati in, the, in our local, in our university. And I'm the, I'm the one who is actually working on. And the management team is Fazel and Madi, who is not currently here now. So in, in this project, we are going to deal with some concepts yeah, we have to agree on this, the meaning of these concepts. One is data, the fundamental thing we all are talking about, but may have different meanings of it. And big data analytics, knowledge discovery out of data and integration of data, and running these big data applications on an efficient infrastructure, the cloud computing. These are the issues that we're going to deal with on 
Friday's workshop. So we have the data. This is uh, the whole big picture of the project, EduWork project. You have all the, the fellows have uh, their projects in, in different cells of this big picture. And we are here. So the knowledge management is the, the, the interconnection of, of all the, the teams. So we need a lot of data, a lot of re requirements, expectations, and so on from, from the that's, that what, that's uh, the part that's really interesting. So people from different backgrounds who are supposed to be unable to communicate will be able to communicate in this project, I hope. So this is the, the big picture of the, 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 my, my specific project, the development of web-based multi-country uh, information system. So it has these three layers, the, the data layer, the logic layer and the user interface layer divided into three. And in the data layer, we'll be collecting, we'll be making a data warehouse, building a data warehouse from internal databases and external databases via different interfaces. And those, the, the, the data warehouse, once it's built, will be manipulated by different algorithms, which we don't know at this point in time. And those algorithms will be able to manipulate this, the data stored in the data warehouse to produce a dash, uh, the, the knowledge in the, uh, produce knowledge and present it into a dashboard. So this is the analysis we, uh, the, from the economics, from labor, and all, so all these perspectives. They will have this, um, be able to manipulate this dashboard for research and decision making. And in the user interface, we also have another component, which is uh, for data entry. And, oh, sorry. And this, the whole, this system, the whole system is going to be built by the interaction between the end users and the project team. And it will run on the available infrastructure, but it will be bounded by standards, the legal, ethical, all these security standards. So it will, it will run on, on these standards. So to see the, 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 the details of each labels, at the data layer, we are going to deal with how we can represent this data in the data warehouse, how we can integrate the data from different databases, and how we have to add a newly added information from the user interface, from maybe surveys or whatever. And in the, in the logic layer, we'll be working on analysis of the stored data, whether it is structured or unstructured, and then the development of the algorithms to extract knowledge out of, out of the data warehouse. And in the user interface layer, so with the user interface, we have two forms of data entry. One is open format and the other is closed format. The open so format has its own disadvantage and the closed format has its own disadvantage of limiting data entry. And we will work on how we can combine the advantages of the two different formats and, and mitigate the disadvantage. So assisting, like assisting the, the, the data entry uh, through the, the, the algorithms. And that's the dashboard that I've already talked about. That's uh, the investigation of the knowledge requirement and presentation of that knowledge into the dashboard. That's the objective that we're going to deal with here. So in, in, in this part, the, the other objective is to, to implement this system so that it will be available and it will be usable in the long term. So in, in this, will be, uh, I'll be implementing the system on infrastructure, which is fast enough to satisfy users and reliable enough to, to, to sustain. Yeah, this is a, a one man's concept image I have since I joined the University of Zygen. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Or is that 
thing to be discussed <laughs> one by one by one with you. So what is available from our side? <clears throat> How do you want it to include in your data warehouse? And so we start discussions. And is that a way to go forward? Yeah, the, the way it is is what kind of knowledge is required. That's a, that's a top down. What kind of knowledge is required? What kind of knowledge do we want to have? What do we want to know about the, the, the job pattern, as the psychology of the economics? All right. Then once we know that knowledge, what knowledge requirements, then what data, underlying data, do we need to extract that knowledge? And then once we know that kind of data, we'll look for where that data exists. So then we, we collect, integrate, and then do the manipulation. And I hope, I, I, my, my vision at this point is the data warehouse will have all the data required, I'm not promising, all the data required <laughs> by all the fellows. <laughs> yeah, just the vision. So, so all the fellows, then out of that, the algorithms will produce a knowledge, a conclusion of the, the result that is, that is, that is, that will be useful for the researchers and for the decision makers. That's the, the vision I have this time. Just a short question. But, uh, <clears throat> probably data from so many sources will be very noisy. What, do you have any idea for data cleaning? Yeah, uh, the data integration process will include this uh, because it's, it's not only the, the noise that we're, we're worrying about, that I'm worrying about this time, it's only the language issue. The data is stored in different languages and then the working language should be, say, if it's English, so the data should be translated, yeah, which is which is going to be a challenge. The cleaning the noise is another challenge, yeah. That's a, that's a challenge that we think about. And one remark that uh, I know this is very trendy to call it structured and non-structured, but once already a very famous scientist got a Nobel Prize because discovering that there is no non-structured data. Non-structured <laughs> 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 data, so Herbert Simon just... We haven't it. discovered the structures. That's the point, yeah. yes. Something is unstructured for us, so... <laughs> Seems Simon to be. says that uh, non-structured data is the absolutely hazard and... <laughs> <laughs> he, call, he calls it ill-structured, but all the literature addresses non-structured nowadays, mm -hmm. but there is non, non-existent. Yes, I, I'm not sure I'm not sure are you, are you thinking that the data that you then have from the clients is the data that they're going to be collecting for their research? Yeah, part of it is, is that one, and the other will be from associated partners. Have you, have you considered that that might not be possible? Yeah. They, they might not be able to give you the data. So if I'm now mm -hmm. thinking no. about ethics, mm -hmm. okay, I know that we will not be able to share our data with anyone. Mm -hmm. Because but ethically, we're not allowed to do so. But you are able to share the results of yes. the analysis yes. on the dashboard. Yes. So but that would be the minimum. Data. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. agree. I definitely okay, okay, agree. Okay, okay. But no, if you I, can. I, I was just wanted because my fear is that there is a huge implication for the work that you're trying to do. Right? So the assumption is that you will, that we will be feeding your data to the clients. That may not be possible yeah. because of the ethics limitations. This is one of the main concerns in, yeah. the, in the workshop, that we want to talk with each of the partners, especially that the question that Kia pointed out, so that the, I think this is from the other side. You should tell us what you mean by data, what you expect in general, yeah? and then we could see or we can figure out, and then we can figure out that how to deal with those. Yeah? But in cases that we cannot, how to say, integrate the data into the databases that we have, to have a centralized database. So we should think about other solutions just yeah. to 
publish the results that we have via the other analyzers or via the wage indicators, for example, because we have access to different type of data from different sources. So that's a point. But we should keep it in mind for the Friday right. workshop. Yeah. How do you see this process in terms of publications? Like, how do you see how can how can you how can you publish mm -hmm. the steps you are taking? Because mm -hmm. this is an important uh, issue. Like you, you need to come up with four publications. Mm -hmm. the last time you it. <laughs> have you have you have you thought about it? Like how? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, for example, in 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 the in the concept image. We can see oh, we can see this the, the, the three on the three layers there are a lot of challenges in, in each of the layers. So in here for example we can see a big integration challenge. So that that can be a, a couple of publications I, I believe. And here again on the on the representations, yeah, I I can see yeah uh, this time, so so not perfectly clear. So in my mind, uh, what this project can uh, be delivering is really nice way of representing data what we will have in this database. So. If I just think about what type of data we can deliver probably, like vacancy data, survey data, wage indicator data can also be coupled to uh, the system. Like how to visualize yeah. uh, what we have there. This might be very interesting. I'm, I'm thinking along two ways. First of all, we could, you know, have both vacancy data or job description data, so we can have job titles with uh, job tasks attached to them, uh, job descriptions, job requirements, whatever. So that's a whole bunch of text data that can some way be structured. And the other thing that's more or less related is we could aim for a kind of ONET-like database. So, uh, ONET is a U.S. Uh, database maintained by the U.S. Uh, Ministry of Labor, and they have lots of information about occupations, um, what tools are required to perform an occupation, or what kinds of personality traits are needed to perform a, uh, an So they have a huge database, which is pretty much structured. Mm -hmm. um, but that could, so, so we could go into that direction, mm -hmm. maybe. So that's a, a, a kind of occupational database for which each of us could squeeze in data, yeah, yeah. whatever we like, from, from the labor force survey. We could have, well, this occupation you will find in that industry and not in the others. And yeah. that's something I mean, that I... Ideally, yeah, I think this could be an idea. But uh, the point is that when we are comparing the approaches governed by the governmental bodies, so they have hand on gathering data, enough budget, enough time. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah mean, I'm not meaning that we need to replicate. No, I don't mean. No, yeah, not at all. I, I agree, it's, definitely. It's, you know, it's just a way of thinking that's... Like, I think we have the workshop for these brainstormings on Friday. Mm -hmm. So to bring all the ideas on the desk and then try to picture a real project for this development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.